Hey guys, my name is Jenna and today I built a tiny home in The Sims 4. I wish I could say that this was my very first attempt and it was legendary on my very first attempt, but that was not the case. This was probably my third attempt and this was the only attempt that I actually finished the entire build without giving up. I definitely had a lot of trouble. Um, this was my first time even trying the new tiny living pack. As you can see on the left, there are three tiers to the tiny home um, style, I guess, or type of home. You could do a micro home, which has the least amount of tiles. You can do a tiny home and then a small home. So I ended up doing the tiny home. I think I tried to do a micro home at the very beginning and then I was like, there's no way, <laughs> my first try. So we'll get there eventually, but I did build this tiny home and I ended up actually really liking it. I think that for a lot of people, the more plants you put in a Sims build, the better <laughs> because it just makes it look a lot more quaint and just, I don't know. I really, I really like, I think it's because I also really like plants in real life, <laughs> so when I'm not allergic to them, but um, I, I don't know, there's just something about it, and apparently I'm not alone in that, so I think it also, I don't know why, it just made more sense to have more plants. I just like tiny house, I just envisioned a lot of plants everywhere. I don't know, I don't know, but anyways ended up being really cute. I did go off of an image online to kind of be my um, inspiration, but it, d it obviously didn't turn out exactly the way it was on the outside, but I definitely needed that when I was building this because I, like I said, have never built a house this small in The Sims 4, and I just don't really see a lot of houses like this where I live. So, it was kind of hard for me to remember kind of what they looked like and envision what it was supposed to look like. And I, I realized while I was building this house specifically that I was, I tend to kind of think things look weirder in The Sims while building the exterior of a house. When in reality, if you like drive around and you really look at houses, all houses are just built really weirdly, especially windows. Not all of them are built weirdly, weirdly, but you'll see that the window placement on a lot of houses are just, they're just odd. Um, but then you go inside and it makes sense, but on the outside the windows are all in kind of odd places. So when you build it in The Sims, if you don't build the exterior to make it look very specifically unison, or at least attempt that, it just looks so weird. But then I remember that in real life, that is not the case and it is okay. Um, so it was just kind of silly me remembering that um, and definitely kind of made me be like, you know what? <laughs> it is going to look great. And I love all the cottage living stuff, especially the windows. It is so nice to be able to have all of these new windows, just like having the tiny living and the cottage, just everything <laughs> just made building that much more fun, that much more exciting, and just that much more, I don't know, I was just, I wanted to experiment constantly as I was building this. Um, I, I feel like when I first played Sims, I mean, <clears throat> Sims 2 and then 3. I think I started build like enjoying building when I played Sims 3, but I think I started out always doing the darker wood with everything. <coughs> but now I feel like I'm kind of going more into not all like completely lighter, but definitely I've gotten out of the extremely dark wood. I feel like I just remember the kitchens I would make and like the floor would be dark wood, like cabinets would be dark. Everything would just be so dark. And especially nowadays, I feel like kitten kitchens are kittens. <laughs> kitchens are much lighter and more minimal kind of. Um so that might be obviously from just style in real life or it just looks better in The Sims. I don't know. But 
that is something I've realized, especially when I do these balconies, um, picking out a wood color and all that, I'm just kind of like gravi gravitated more towards this color, this like chestnut color fence right here. That's like my favorite right now, which is, <laughs> which makes me laugh because that is also definitely the color when I play Minecraft. <laughs> That is like the color of wood that I do always, all the time, which in um, Minecraft, that's the jungle wood, which of course is like the hardest <laughs> to obtain, but you know, you gotta get it. And the last time I was playing Minecraft with all my friends, I actually ended up building my own jungle, which meant I had to go to a jungle, like tr travel so far, um, <laughs> get the jungle wood, get the saplings, so then I could slowly make my own jungle, and it was just, it took forever, and then I did it, and it was great, and then we all got bored of that, um, <laughs> that game in Minecraft, and then we started a new, a new seed, but, yeah, just funny how that works, but, so it was funny kind of looking at these <laughs> fences and being like, oh yeah, Minecraft, I should play that again. I feel like Minecraft, I don't know. I, like most games, I go through phases, but Minecraft, when I want to play it, it's like the only thing I want to play. Whereas some games, I just, I, you know, I'll play it a lot and I'll play it, you know, I'll play other games too, but Minecraft, for some reason, <laughs> I'm like, there's no other game at this moment in time. It's just Minecraft. And I feel that a way, feel that with The Sims as well. Um, sometimes I feel that way with Dead by Daylight. I feel like Dead by Daylight, it depends if I want to play as Killer in Dead by Daylight or as Survivor in Dead by Daylight. I'm never like, I'm like so invested in Dead by Daylight to where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna play both all the time. Like it's either I'm invested in being a killer or being a survivor, which is kind of, I guess that's a good thing because then when I do play it again, I can, you know, switch to being survivor again and I kind of get this whole new liking towards it in that point in time. But, um, definitely, definitely, um, those, no, honestly, those three are probably my favorite games right now. It's Minecraft, The Sims, and Dead by Daylight. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, though. Should probably, should probably get back on that. It's definitely more fun for me when I play with friends, though. Because it's not as, when you, like, play with friends and you can kind of see what everyone else is creating, it's just that much more fun and special. And hilarious, honestly, sometimes. <laughs> I feel like my Minecraft houses always end up having, like, just a ton of animals. I always, in Minecraft, I'm always the one that's like farming. Like I always have just a ton of crops um, and just a ton of animals <laughs> that I have to protect. Um, the last time when I had that huge jungle, I actually had some parrots, which was actually really fun. Um, and yeah, I always just gravitate towards that. I don't really know what it is, but I do gravitate towards that. I'm not one to um, be very good at battling or I guess, you know, like trying to um, fight all these mobs or whatever in the game, but I do enjoy my little farm and the animals that I can have and all the cats and the dogs and I can name them and have their little tags and it's all, nothing could go wrong. I just, I like the serenity. <laughs> and I think, oh yeah, in my, in our last Minecraft game, we had kind of like, I, um, like a little market, or, I don't know, we all had like each individual like stores, and mine was like a flower shop, which was really cute. Um, but yeah, that, that was, that's definitely one of my favorite things we've done, is like had just a bunch of different shops. That was really cool. Um, but anyways, getting back into The Sims, um, I was very excited. I, I just love playing around with the bug beds in this game. 
and um, so I was really excited to like not only have all of these clutter items but I can make it look like there are two monitors kind of have that be just like a really relaxing space but also kind of like I don't know realistic um, if they were playing video games or just I don't know I think at first I thought that was gonna be where the TV was but then I wanted the two monitors and that kind of changed um, I rearranged that living space a lot actually um, but I did end up kind of fi figuring it out and I did end up putting like a TV in front of that little um, seat right there and that ended up actually being really really nice and um, I don't know I think I really I really enjoyed this build it it almost reminds me like a of like a dorm room kind of vibe <laughs> um, or just like your first um, experience living on your own and um, I don't know <clears throat> it was just really cute <laughs> just I love I love if you couldn't already tell I enjoy really cute things um, and this house definitely fits into that category <laughs> so um, yeah I just it's so cute I love it I did I think at one point attempt to put either a litter box no I think I did both a litter box and like a dog bed and neither of them fit like it was not in this build's destiny like <laughs> it's just too many tiles um maybe if I made like a big backyard or something I don't know but that's okay I guess I can have one build where there's not cat and dog stuff I suppose <laughs> I don't know what I do. how can you not just have cat and dogs I don't understand but I also love that over the toilet that like plant and all that I love that item it is definitely one of my favorite like new bathroom items that I have and that sink I love like I don't know why I just love how shiny it is <laughs> I don't know why I think it's just because we don't we don't have a lot of stuff like that like where it's like shiny kind of I don't know <laughs> Maybe that's just just a me thing. I don't I don't know. But here I am getting excited about a sink in a game because it is shiny. That's what that's where we are now. But it all just looks really cute. And honestly, this little bathroom kind of reminds me of like a dollhouse bathroom. I don't know why. Maybe that's why I like the sink cuz it's shiny like a dollhouse. Okay, now I'm just re I'm really reaching now. I'm reaching for the reason of why I love this thing so much. But I also really like the wallpapers from the cottage living. Like, look at the little bunnies and the mushrooms. It's all so cute. If I lived here, I would name like every single bunny. I would forget about it, like all the names. But I'd be like, Hey, Gerald, how are you doing? Hey, Todd. <laughs> How you doing guys i hope y'all are having a great time yeah i uh i've definitely gotten a lot more packs and like kits in like the past year or two than i ever have because i've just been so i think for a while i just i tried to like um love building and I, I did, but I just got so bored of using the same items. It just wasn't exciting. Because I think all I really had for a long time was Seasons. And like the pets, the pets pack. Not the My First Pet stuff. I did get that for free, don't worry. But um, I didn't really have a lot of built like kitchen, like all these new kitchen cabinets. I didn't have any of that. Um, and so I got them every time that anything that I wanted was on sale in the EA store, I did get them, which they are still very expensive, or I would ask them for like Christmas, but yes, I did at least wait for times when it was not as expensive or I could ask for it as a gift and be, um, ask for it and get it from my amazing family. So, yeah, it's just, I really needed that <laughs> extra little bit of, um, just choice and being able to 
experiment with all these different styles like doing this tiny house and all that so I'll definitely for a while be able to um, be like be good with everything that I have in this game um, I'm very I'm very content <laughs> here's me trying to fit any sort of animal I can right here and it just did not work <laughs> but it's fine it's all right we don't need an animal in every single one of my builds I will live and it will be totally fine <laughs> um this is kind of where <clears throat> like putting these two windows down this is kind of where it reminded me of like an actual house because like if you look at it on the outside it looks so weird just like two tiny little windows on the side but like that's normal that's literally normal but <clears throat> you just kind of overthink it all I also really love this brick wall style. <clears throat> I don't know why, but like with the hanging plant and that painted brick. I don't know if that's still... I remember like the painted white or cream brick was like a huge thing in like 2019. I don't know if it's still like as popular for like a living space, but I still really, really like it and I think it looks really good. Um, I definitely am into like all the greens, like the forest green with the white and that like chestnut brown, all that I really, really love. And anything that's like from a thrift store, you see all that, like in TikToks, I'll see like cute little kitchens and all that. That is definitely my vibe right now or the vibe that I like to create. Yes, Jenna, you cannot fit a dog bed. I really, I wanted it so bad, <laughs> but it didn't work and that is okay. I also really love making the, um, or putting the light switch by the sink, like it's like a little garbage disposal. <laughs> it's the little things, guys. It is the little things. And just the key holder, oh, it's just so fun to have all that. Um, I haven't gotten any, um, custom like content items i think i've done like a couple maybe before but that is something i do want to try to figure out one day um, maybe i'll do that the next time i'm like ready to <laughs> explore new options but as of right now i've just been looking at all these items that i've wanted for so long and like just being able to play with kind of cottage living i've wanted for so long just to like play with like the animals and just Anything having to do with that pack is just so cool. So that is very exciting for me. Now I'm just putting a bunch of greenery around to make my heart happy <laughs> and full because that is just how I want my home to be. I have a little greenhouse inside of my bedroom right now, which I got on Amazon and has like four little shelves and it is just so cute and I love her. I only have spinach or I don't have spinach yet but I just planted the little spinach seedlings in a little egg carton and then I have a peperomia plant and then I accidentally when I was repotting her I accidentally may or may not have cut off one of the um leaves but it's okay because it had the roots still attached so I propagated her so she is propagated and thriving so that is where we are with my actual plants in my real life right now. Yeah, I, I went to Home Depot like a couple weeks ago to find my my uh, my cat safe plant, my peperomia, and um, it was it was pretty sad. Obviously, it's winter, so there's not a lot of plants. But the plants that were there, they oh girl, they needed <laughs> they needed some TLC. It was sad. But I rescued my peperomia, and um, I also got neem oil to prevent any pests because that was- I've never had plants inside of my home because I'm just so afraid of pests and, you know, just- I don't want any of that, any of the, like, mold or whatever you can get on plants, or just- I want to be the best plant mom I can be, so I got the neem oil. It's been working great. Um, I did everything I was supposed to do in order to take care of the plants right when um, right when I brought her home. And 
I've had her for about two weeks now and she's thriving. I just changed her into her new little pot. <clears throat> and that's when I um, just planted um, the spinach seeds, which I mainly got because um, spinach, when I buy it at the store, it's always just like way too much and it goes bad before I can actually finish it which I've heard you can freeze it, which would probably solve my problem, but I already purchased the spinach seeds. So here we are. And honestly, I think it's good for me to plant them myself. <laughs> so we shall see. I also have a little grow light, which is just like a light I have for filming, <laughs> just like right next to it, but it's fine. It works. It's so good. I do, I do really want to um, post a video at some point of me um, like showing the progress of my plants um, but I think I want that to kind of be a longer video so you can really see like the plants grow so that probably won't be for a while but that is something I also want to do I just I've I've been watching a lot of videos like that on YouTube recently and I, I want to be like them I want to have all these plants and just look all cool and stuff in my in my home just have a bunch of plants <laughs> that's what i want but they have to be cat safe the thing is my plants in my little greenhouse obviously it's like closed my cat can't get to it but i still do cat safe because robin's safety is my utmost like she has to be safe i have to do everything in my power to keep my little chicken my chicken muffin safe <laughs> so all of the plants I get are cat safe. It is it is fun to put a bunch of plants in The Sims that are probably not cat safe. <laughs> Me living vicariously through The Sims yet again. What else would I be doing, honestly? Um, yeah, I'm almost done furnishing this build already, which is crazy. Um, I did put like a little clip of me showing each of the rooms at the very end here. Um, which I'm sure is very much so appreciated. And with that, I will let you guys watch the end of this build, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.